Shore Sports Zone's coverage of Red Bank Catholic is brought to you by Immediate Care Medical Walk-In of Red Bank. Shore Sports Zone's coverage of Red Bank Regional is brought to you by Navisync Electrical. Two strong girls lacrosse programs that are quite familiar with each other played a hard-fought game in Little Silver. Our U.S. Army Lacrosse Game of the Week features a great girls battle between Red Bank Catholic and Red Bank Regional. The Casey's looking for their eighth win of the year, while RBR hoping to make a statement against one of the Shore's best. Thanks to the U.S. Army for allowing us to shine the spotlight on great lacrosse action on both the boys' and girls' side each week. Red Bank Regional, a team that's trying to reach the top tier. Here's Megan Murray on the run finding Maggie Davis. We're tied at six in the first half. But RBC answers with three straight goals. Erin Matone with the great feed to Mackenzie Boyle. The sophomore already closing in on 100 career points. And she was just getting started. Look at this awesome cut right here. Boyle flies by the defender and delivers a great shot after attacking from behind the net. Red Bank Catholic takes a 9-6 lead. Closing minute of the first half. This is freshman Claudia Kelly from the free position. Great shot right there. At the half, RBR is in it, down just 2 nine, seven. In the second half, Kristen Paluzzo makes a fantastic move to split the defense. That's a great goal. Paluzzo committed to play Division I lacrosse at Louisville. She had two second half goals. The Casey's take an 11-7 lead. But Red Bank Regional kept battling back. Sophomore Megan Murray, one of the top scorers in the Shore Conference. She bounces this shot in for her fourth goal of the game. Murray now has 33 goals on the season. We've got an 11-9 game with 9.07 to go. But RBC's experience shines through. The Casey's maintained large chunks of possession, and Amanda Murphy once again provided big offense. This is her fourth goal of the game. Murphy is on her way to play college lacrosse at Rowan. Red Bank Catholic closes the game with three straight goals. Here's Boyle closing out the scoring with the hat trick as the Casey's hang on in a game that featured a lot of physical play. 14 to nine is your final. RBC is now eight and two on the season with their only losses coming to state powers, Rumson, Fairhaven and Mendham. RBR is five and three, and there's no doubt this team is capable of being a winning program in 2017. After the game, we talk with Amanda Murphy and Mackenzie Boyle about holding off an upset bid from an arch rival. Well, I think we definitely came in prepared for anything. We know that every team's going to come out and play their best against us. Yes, it was definitely as intense as it looked out there. I think we all just uh, had to keep it together, and I think we did. We really get into it, so and we're all really aggressive. We all play for the same club team, so it's like we both want to win, but we also are friends, so it's kind of hard like not to like just give them the ball. So like it was really like I was guarding like Megan Murray is one of my really good friends, so I was guarding her, and it was like it's really hard not to like blow her over, but she blew me over, so. <laughs> That's, that's what a rivalry is all about. Yeah, it? it was fun. I had fun. <laughs> For more Jersey Shore sports, log on to shoresportzone.com.